Hey, Darcy, how are you? Good to see you today. Thanks for coming over to Ruby's Pantry and seeing what's going on over here. Every second Monday of the month, right here in International Falls at Bacchus Community Center. We're here today to kind of give you all an idea of what happens here when we set this up, starting about 2.30 in the afternoon when a big red truck comes into town with about 20,000 pounds of food on a bunch of pallets and Craig Moe goes and gets a North, Northern Lumber Jack and comes over here and takes them out of the truck and a crew of people here, they get the pallet jacks that uh, PCA gave us uh, as a grant and they pull the food into the building and they're setting it all up right now right in here they're putting materials down on the floor to protect the gym floor but the two guys can move uh, about 22,000 pounds of food in about a half an hour or so and get it in the building. The next thing that happens then is a bunch of young ladies and young men and then older ladies and men and people, they have to unpack all these things to get everything off the pallets, get the plastic that's wrapped around them and, and uh, set it all up. And uh, there is a food line person who's in charge of all this, and that person has to determine where to put everything and where to put it on these pieces of uh, plywood back here, and then figure out how to put them on the table so that when everything gets set up, when people start taking food out of here, they know what order to put them in and, and all that kind of thing. So this gets to be quite an interesting quite an interesting process. Now way in the background back here, you'll see there's a whole bunch of uh, grocery carts. As a matter of fact, there are 20 of them there. And uh, when the pandemic came along, we had to figure out a way to uh, get food distributed without having people come into the building here because the back of people said no more people coming in the building. So what these leaders did, uh, Ruby's leaders, the coordinators, they said, let's get some, some grocery carts. And so we went out to Menards and we went to County Market and they gave us uh, the use of some of their uh, carts and also uh, Food Shelf had some and Bacchus had some. So over time, instead of borrowing carts now, we've been donated uh, carts and we have our own. And so uh, what we can do, then is once this food is all set up in here, what happens is that um, we'll start filling these carts up with boxes of food and they'll be, they'll be assigned to a particular person and that person will stay with that grocery cart for the entire afternoon. And what they will do is they will fill it up, wheel it outside and somebody outside will take the food out of the cart and what they'll do is put it in somebody's trunk and off they go. In the meantime, people will be lining up down 9th Avenue and over here on 5th Street, getting in line to come by the west side of Bacchus, where there'll be a tent. And that tent will have some wonderful ladies in it, and their job is to get $20, which is a share price, a gift, a share gift for a share of food. They take the money, they tell people, they, people tell them, I want two shares or I want one share and then those people will drive forward and, and get their cars filled up with the food that's coming out in the carts. So that's essentially what happens here. So um, it takes about, we used to have about 100 volunteers when we did this differently, but now we're doing it a little more efficiently and the number of volunteers has gone down, but we're kind of short, so <coughs> we could use more volunteers. But we're running around 40, 45 people that come here spend a couple of hours and volunteer to help out and to get this uh, 22,000 pounds of food out the door. Now last time we had, uh, we ordered 300 shares of food and we ended up distributing close to 300, not quite. And uh, that included some shares that went to benevolence to help people that uh, need food. And uh, also when we have food left over, uh, we sometimes uh, give food to various groups uh, like the uh, Salvation Army, the Food Shelf, the Voyager uh, Food Shelf out there, uh, uh, the uh, other groups in town, the Senior Center and things like that. So we're trying to get rid of all this food. And I, I wanted 
to make it sure that people understand that all this food that comes here is coming from corporate America food dealers. It's all donated food. And it's gathered by Ruby's Pantry, which has 80 some communities in northern Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. And they have three huge warehouse communities where they store this food and then once a month they take a truckload of food out to a given Ruby's Pantry all over Minnesota. So it's pretty amazing. So that's kind of what happens here. Hi, I'm Stacy Hall. I am the volunteer coordinator for Ruby's Pantry. I took over when Karina moved away this past summer. And what I do is make sure that people sign in and give them their name tags. When they volunteer, I run the background checks and then coordinate all the communications to volunteers. I appreciate each and every one that comes and volunteers because we honestly could not do this without each and every one of you. Hi everybody, it's Lois Lundin. We're here at Ruby's Pantry today and we're getting the food line all ready for production. People are bringing food in on the pallet jacks. They're bringing pallets of food in from the truck. And we spend our time out here counting, inventorying, and then sorting all of our food so that it goes out in the shares and everybody gets equal parts in their share. So we have everything in here from bread to dry, various dry goods. We have produce today. We have fresh apples and produce coming in the door, ice cream, milk, we sort it all out and we stage it so that it, when it goes in your baskets and it goes in our cart, that it's, it's all logical, all the frozen is together, just like you would pack your groceries. You frozen your dry goods and your produce is all together. We try not to put the bananas and the bread on the bottom. We do all those things that, that matter to you. Um, all of this food is, being, is, is going fresh from our house to yours. So I hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoy putting it all together for you. Thank you.